What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video. So, to give some pretext for this video, back when I did construction um, diecast videos, um, there was a big thing where you would do diecast collection updates every so often. So, I thought I'd take kind of that principle, show off my collection a little bit, um, since only my friends really get to see it. Um, and yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy the video, some of the cars that I have, and enjoy. So we're going to start up top. Uh, the first one up here, it is a little bit lonely because I did a little bit of uh, moving around. But anyways, this is of Lewis Hamilton's 2007 McLaren uh, that he contested. Um, I got this at Gearheads. Shout out to Bob in Claremont, Indiana. If you're ever in Indianapolis, go see Bob. He has some great diecasts. He has a little bit of everything. Over here, we have four Audi R8s. Uh, the first two are by Maisto. They are the 2000 and 2001 Le Mans winning cars. And then the two white ones, the ADT Champion Racing cars. Those are both from Le Mans 2005, which would be R the R8's final Le Mans win. Um, the number three with the white roll hoop and the number two with the blue, that's how they finish with the three in front and two in second place. Down here, we have two of the more infamous well, actually, it's one car, but two iterations. Probably the most infamous uh, Daytona prototype of all time. This is the 2004 Rolex 24 Howard Boss Motorsports Crawford that Tony Stewart infamously had the suspension break while leading with 19 minutes to go on. Um, this is the start version, and then this is the, well, 18 minutes ago end version, I guess you could say. Uh, but that race was heavily affected by rain, um, but it's ultimately a cool car. So we're gonna move on to the Indy cars now. So these are gonna be the 2020s. Um, I have most all, except for the Connor Daly and the Tony Kanon and the um, Dalton Kellett. Shows how memorable he is. Um, but anyways, I do regret not getting the Daly, but oh well. <laughs> So, we have the Zach Veach car, which was the first aero screen car released. Um, well, liveried aero screen car. And you could also call it a James Hinchcliffe if you want to prefer or say that, because he did race this car in a later bit of the season. Or you can call it the Colton Herta car. Up to you. Um, we have the two Alexander Rossies. We have the Auto Nation. My finger, from where I'm saying it's right, like right there, but anyways, the Auto Nation. And the Napa, it's really nice to see a secondary livery for Rossi. It, it does look pretty good. I have to give it credit. Um, I actually snatched up the Auto Nation one before I did the Napa. And then we got the Hunter Ray, which I honestly didn't necessarily want to get. I mean, it's the same car it's been for years. But I thought I might as well complete the Andretti Armada. And then we have the James Hinchcliffe Genesis car. Had to because Hinch is cool. Kind of. Yes, he is. Um, so there's the first shelf. Down here, we got Colton Herta, it's Mr. Speed Racer himself, and then Marco Andretti um, in his final full-time season. I got this one right after he won the pole for the Indy 500. Actually, I got this day, the day before the 500. Next up is a car I probably never would have expected to get. I'm not a big Graham Rahal fan, never have been, but this car just looks so damn good. I, I couldn't pass it up. Next up is Pato Award, another car that looked just so damn good. Um, and then next to him is his, well, I guess kind of teammate, uh, Fernando Alonso um, in the Ruoff car. I kind of forget that Ruoff sponsored him, honestly. So let's go down here. So next up we have the Santino Ferrucci, number 18. I know it's a little dark. Um... I mean, I, I was a Santino Ferrucci fan mainly because of his engineer, Michael Cannon, but now that Mikey um, bailed over to CGR, I'm not really, I don't really care that much, but the car does look good. Um, we have the Simon Pagano, the Snap-on car, the um, promo car from Snap-on. Thanks to Brian uh, for getting that for me and getting me a couple other ones, actually. Um... It is a cool car. I love the gunmetal gray on it. I mean, it just looks really good any position that you look at it. Um, yeah, I, it's just a nice car. If, so if you can get your hands on one for a decent price, I would. But I was lucky enough to get it for free. Uh, the Helio car in his last 
race for Team Penske in IndyCar, not quite great last race in general, because he would go on to finish the uh, season in IMSA with Acura Team Penske. Of the last of the silver uh, Verizon cars, because this game has been around since 2016 when Penske was celebrating their 50th anniversary. And it's just, it was cool. And then it wasn't cool. Then it was cool again with the new arrow kit. Then it just got boring. And then we got Simon Pagano in the Menards car. I don't think that could ever really get boring. Down here, we got Dale Jr. Um, in his nationwide iRacing car. I mean, how many times can you say you get a Dale Jr. IndyCar die cast? So might as well. Uh, we have the Scott Dixon uh, car. That, you know, I had to get this because obviously I'm the original Dixon fanatic. And also Michael Cannon. Yeah, <laughs> my boy. Um, and then we also got the Rosenquist car. Uh, that car is just so sexy. Uh, best NTT scheme that we've ever had. And it just looks so good. I was so disappointed to see him switch back to the blue base car. But this one looked amazing. Over here, we got the Ed Carpenter Racing Guys, also known as We're Only Good at Indy Team. Um, we have Ed Carpenter in the Space Force. I know it's dark. Um, and then we also got Renus VK and the 21. It's good to see that we got the entire Ed, Ed Carpenter Racing Team um, in this, this year. And it was really nice to see an Ed Carpenter car for the first time since the DW12s. And then it's nice to see the 21 car because the last time we had a anything from the 21 car was in 2016 uh new gardens uh, preferred freezer services car so it's really nice to get that down here we have some older ones we have michael andretti's 2006 um indy 500 car that's really just a damn weldon scheme with different colors we have a signed 2004 dan weldon uh car uh 2004 you can tell because the honda is actually scooched back because they had a weird airbox design that year my one of my all-time favorite schemes the 2006 dario frankie uh klein tools canadian club car funny story my first diecast indy car in any scale between 164 and 118 was a 164 of that car when it was like fresh release i remember i got it at meyer alongside a danica patrick argent car and the Dan Weldon Klein Tools car. So that was something that was really cool. And it's, this car will always have a sentimental place. We have the Marco Andretti car. This is from the 2007 version, not the 2006. The main difference is the Argent uh, on the nose. I mean, a lot of people have this one in their collection. It's from when Marco was actually good and when he actually won a race. Then we have Danica Patrick's, um, Danica Patrick's Motorola XM car. I mean, again, I really wish we would have gotten this one in orange, but whatever. It is an okay looking car. Just people bought them thinking that they'd like gain value from them. And then now you see them at pretty much every um, memorabilia show going for like 10 bucks. I mean, they're not really worth anything. So let's go up here. So this one is going to be more, um, more the older uh, IR18. So the pre aero screen cars. So from 2018 to 19. So up here, we have a 2019 Scott Dixon. We have a 2019 Connor Daly. We have a 2018 Zach Veach. This is the Delaware Life car that only ran twice, I think. Um, I know Relay really stepped in, but I did see this car test at IMS on the road course. So I can say I've seen this car. And actually, I also saw this car run at the Grand Prix of Indianapolis. Uh, the Alexander Rossi 2019 um, car. I did swap the camera pod because originally it had a yellow one. It looked terrible, so I swapped it. And then we have Marco's um, throwback for his grandfather's win, uh, the 50th anniversary of that one. Down here, we have, this one's actually an Ed Jones. It's not the Rosenquist, it's the Ed Jones 2018 car. Um, this scheme looked okay. I mean, I like the blue chrome. It looked decent. Uh, we have James Hinchcliffe's 2018 car. Now this is with the figure. Um, I got this one at Gateway. I had two of them. I gave one of them to Kyle Cuthbertson, I believe. Um, but this is the figure version. Here is a Robert Wickens. This is the original release, not the re-release, but the original release of this car that I reviewed a while back. 
this one I'm so glad I got. Uh, this is one of three Indy cars uh, that was released with the AFP. This is Jack Harvey's car. Um, the other two were the Series Champion and the Indy 500 winner, so the New Guard and Pagina. So this is the only not special release that had the AFP on it, which is a fun fact. So it wasn't a champion car of any sort. It was just a normal release. And it was the only normal release with the AFP. Then we have Hinchcliffe's 2019 IndyCar. I really wish we would have gotten the Ericsson, but we didn't, whatever. <laughs> so down here, we're getting more towards light. Uh, we have the Sebastian Bourdais 2019 car. A lot of hype around this car when it first came out. It was, I'm glad I got it. I picked it up at Gateway. Um, we have Joseph Newgarden's 2018 uh, car. So this is when there were still two silver Verizon cars. And excuse me, it is dusty over here. Um, and then we have Helia Castro Nevis's 2019 Shell Pennzoil car because they didn't have one in um, 2008. They didn't release any Helio cars in 2018. And then we have Will Powers 2018 and Simon Pagenaud's 2018, which was one of the first that I picked up. We're going to the Arrow Kits. So we have all five of the Team Penske cars. Um, well, actually four of the five from 2017 plus one 2016. So we have the Pagano 2017 when he ran the number one, which was, I know there was a lot of hype around this car because it was the Menards car. Um, this is the New Garden Verizon, which I was actually really excited to get because I didn't get these cars in 2016, the two silver ones. So I, I thought they looked good at the time. Then they got old. Um, we have the Helio from 2016 uh, which could be more relatable to the um, presentation version than the actual one that raced because of decal placement and stuff. Um, then we have the Willpower, and we have the Willpower uh, 2018, and then we have this um, Juan Pablo Montoya 20, uh, did I say 2018? I meant 17. Then we have the Montoya 2017. This one was a Team Penske exclusive, I do believe. They did, they did not sell it at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. And I managed to get it at a green light sale. So down here, we kind of got some random ones. I got a Fernando sign thing. Uh, we got Fernando's 2019 car because, you know, that one went well. We have two of his 2017 cars. So this one here is the figure edition. I got that one at green light as well. It is signed. I got this one here, which is a raced version um, that I did on it. Kind of do a little close up. And this one is signed by Zach Brown, who is the CEO of McLaren, Fernando Alonso, Johnny Rutherford, who was a driver coach for him, as well as Gilda Farron, who was, played a big part in the Fernando program as well. And over here, we have just two standard releases. This is just a Hunter Ray, nothing special. And this Marco car, funny story, was originally supposed to be a, um, it was originally supposed to be a HH Greg car. And even on the shipping box, it said HH Greg. And then when I was there, when they started pulling them out of the box and putting them on the shelf, um, it turned out to be the UFD car. So even on the shipping box, it had HH Greg. So it was a last minute switch. So we're going to go ahead. Well, we're going to start over here first. Well, actually, no, we're going to start up here. So we're going to go to the Indy 500 winners now. Now I do have the figures for these three. I just have them in a box. I need to really put them out. I've been procrastinating pretty badly on that. So. We have an empty space here for the for the Takuma Sato winner whenever it comes out. We have the Simon Pagano 2019, Will Power 2018, Takuma Sato 2017, uh, the Alexander Rossi 2016, the one that's really hard to get him to stand in the freaking car. I don't know why I even bothered to touch him, but I did. But the Rossi 2016. And all of these are signed except for the Pagano and the Weldon. So obviously the Weldon's the two and the Pagano because of COVID. Um, the Juan Pablo Montoya 2015, Hunter Ray 2014, Canon 2013. And it is signed. It's just in silver Sharpie and it's hard to show on this one. Frank Keaty 2012 with a driver figure in it. Um, and then we got Weldon 2011. Wait, wait. 13, Dario Franchitti 2012, Weldon 2011. Then we have the Dario 2010. They didn't make a 2009 um, 
Indy 500 winner because um, Hot Wheels held the license at the time. So this is Helio Castro Neves' 2007 car, which was the last one that they made previous to this. Um, and it's just a stand-in. Scott Dixon's 2008 winner, which is a which was a grail to get. This one as well, because this was the first Indy 500 I attended, which was 2007 for Dario. Um, oh, and this one's not signed either. Um, Sam Horace Jr., because he's kind of a recluse these days. Uh, his 2006 winner, and I will get that for one day, I swear it. Um, and then also, we, down here, we have uh, Dan Weldon's 2005 winner. We have um, Buddy Rice's 2004 winner. So that's it for the green light Indy 500 winners. Let's move over here. So this one here is an interesting one. This is the original Scott Dixon prototype from 2018. So we got this from green light before the images of this car were even released because PNC had just signed on after a sponsorless season for Dixon. Um, PNC had just signed on and they just announced the um, livery for the car. And we went to this diecast cast um, kind of showcase at Greenlight's headquarters. And we, we me and uh, Brody, we um, had won this in a contest. Not really a contest, but a game. And it was kind of cool because we broke the first images of the diecast of this car. But this is a stand-in for his 2020 champion. Here is the 2019 champion being the New Garden. I got this one for 35 bucks, which shows you how much the Hitachi car sells. We have the 2018 champion with the Wiccan sticker. The Get Well Wiccans, they're the better, faster, stronger Wiccan sticker. The 2017 Hum car, which is dusty as hell, and it shows. I really need to dust these things. I used to so frequently, but I haven't lately. But the um, 2017 Hum car, which is an absolutely beautiful livery. Uh, and the 2016 um, Simon Pagano car. And then we have Danica Patrick's 2018 Indy 500. Gives you an idea how much they really changed the Indy cars between 2017 and 18, doesn't it? So we're going to move over here to the TV stand um, real fast. Just one second. Just got to move one thing. <laughs> Sorry about that. So here we have, and this is going to be the only 143 in the video. I'm not going to showcase my Spark 143 collection, not in this video, but, but it, if David Land, I'll make you a deal. If David Land shares this video on Twitter, I will show off my Spark 143 collection. So the, the, the challenge is out there. So anyways, this is Lewis Hamilton's 2019 uh, F1 World Championship winning car in 143 by Spark with the trophies and signs and the Daytona 500 trophy. <laughs> this is Sebastian Bourdais, um, 2007 uh, Long Beach Grand Prix winner. I uh, got that one for 65 bucks because, you know, these DPO ones do go for a lot of money for some reason. Over here, we have Graham Rahal's... Um, 2007 dpo one uh it is missing a mirror i did buy it for 50 bucks however so it's signed but it's missing a mirror it, it equals out then we have my first dpo one which was the neil yanni 2007 red bull dpo one down here we have um we have scott dixon and dan weldon's 2006 cars both of these were grails for me because this was kind of the best looking target cars in my opinion um, next to them, we have two LMP1 cars. This is the No Rev 118 um, Audi R10 from 2008, the Le Mans winner, which is incredibly detailed. And then we have Mini Champs number seven Peugeot 908. There's something stuck in. Oh, it's actually like stuck in. Yeah, it's stuck in there. <laughs> Um, this is the 2008 Peugeot 908 um, by Mini Champs. Also got this one from Bob. Scooching over here a um, little bit more. We have Max Verstappen's 2018 um, Austria winner from the Red Bull ring. And then we have Lewis Hamilton's uh, 2017 World Championship car from the Mexican Grand Prix. I remember that race well. It's probably one of my favorite F1 races of all time. One of. And then back there kind of hiding with some of the 164s. Um, is Scott Dixon's 2016 target car, the Bolt car. 
that's a grail for a lot of people. And I couldn't believe how rare that car had gotten considering it was on sale at the end of season sale in 2016. So honestly, I could not believe it. <laughs> so up here we have the three RLL cars. I, I got my snowman there. It makes me so happy. Maybe. Um, we have Buddy Rice's 2005 car um, and the suspension has actually popped out a little bit. So I'll need to fix that after the video. Um, Danica Patrick's car, which was signed. And ironically, this is her rookie car, and I got it signed in her last IndyCar start in 2018. And this is Vitor Mira, who has kind of disappeared off into nothingness. Down here, we've reached the bottom of the barrel, really. So down here, we have Jared Hildebrand's 2011 IndyCar. This is one of the first 2018s that I had gotten. This is um, Ed Carpenter's number 52 Red Bull Chevrolet for Eddie Cheever Racing. We have Ryan Briscoe's, um, we have Ryan Briscoe's 2018 Penske car. Uh, this is the only Team Penske, car, Team Penske car that they made in their original run as IndyCar diecast maker with the uh, engine cover that comes off. They did make the Will Power car and they also made the Helio Castroneves 2011 Shell V Power Nitro Plus, whatever, blah, blah, blah car. We got Ryan Hunter Ray's 2008 um, Indy 500 Rookie of the Year car. This is the ethanol for Ray Hall Letterman. Then we all, down here to kind of conclude the video is one of my favorites. It is the Scott Sharp Tequila Patron ES, or well, I can't say, it's so, it rolls off the tongue so easily. Tequila Patron ESM. But no, this is his Tequila Patron RLL Indy car from 2007. I got this signed at Mid-Ohio 2018 IMSA. So that is an overview of the collection. Yeah, look at that. So, if you like this video, uh, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and all that other fun stuff. And more DeckCast reviews coming, because I guess I don't have much of a shortage of material here. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and peace.